And you thought we were done with the monogram finger fighters. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, yeah, because we're going to be having a look at some more finger fighters. These are the villains, if you will, even though technically we looked at the Punisher under the Heroes banner. But uh, these are finger fighters from the folks, lots of Fs there, from the folks over at Monogram International. Now, the villains consist of Red Skull. We also have Loki. In the back, we've got Whiplash. And lastly, we've got Abomination. Now, if you flip around the packaging, each hero is technically paired with his corresponding villain. Spider-Man and Venom are paired together, and they're actually in a group pack, pack of two. We'll look at those in a separate video. Hulk is paired with Abomination. Of course, Iron Man is paired with Whiplash. Captain America paid, is paired with Red Skull. Thor with Loki. And yes, that's why it would leave Daredevil with the Punisher, even though I did the Punisher in the last video. Uh, there are four here to have a look at. You can head over to www.monogramdirect.com if you guys wanted to check out some more cool collectibles from Monogram. Um, box artwork, package artwork. We've got more of the villains representing here on the top. I like the packaging that they're in. Uh, and then you've got the Take the Challenge. You can versus Hulk or Hulk versus Abomination. Fight with your favorite Marvel heroes. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to open these up. I know last time we had a look at the heroes. I simply just took a break. I opened up everything and then I, and then I came back here. I think I'm going to just take all of them off by individually. I have to be very careful with the card that I don't accidentally rip it. There's the back of the packaging. We don't need to look at that again. And let's take abomination out of his packaging. Take the front insert off. And there you have Abomination. Now, the idea is you've got the cards here on the back that correspond with uh, their rankings of intelligence, strength, speed, durability, energy projection, and fighting skills. I think even at the time that we had a look at them initially, the heroes, I said that they're for your thumbs. Now, really, they're good for your fingers because your fingers are a little bit smaller. You can fit them on top. I would still likely use them for my thumbs. Um, as for the card itself, let's flip that around. So Abomination has relatively middle-of-the-mark intelligence. Strength, though, is incredibly high at 7. Speed is at 5. Durability is at 6. Energy projection is at, surprisingly, a 3. And fighting skills are at 5. As for the piece itself, it looks definitely like Abomination, right down to the gilly-like ears that he has. And he's got the these kind of boils and just gross things all over his body here. It actually works well that the the uh, material that they used are is almost like a rubber material because it does give him a nice slimy slick look. Uh, he's got a grimace in his teeth showing off some fangs and very white, very stark white eyes. Uh, they are again a soft rubber material so fits perfectly again over your finger. Results may vary. If your finger is like this big, it's not going to fit. I hate to be the bearer of bad news on that. But there you have Abomination. I guess you could put something into his hand like a pencil if you wanted to write a letter to the Hulk. Dear Hulk, I'm so sorry. All these years we've been squabbling and fighting. Truth, truth be told, I've always really wanted to be your friend. I know it didn't seem that way at the beginning, but... I have to come clean about it. I did always want to be your friend, and I was hoping that you'd invite me over for some tea or something like that. And yes, I've always been well-spoken. you just never given me a chance because you always want to Hulk smash my face. Here is the Red Skull. And again, the back of the packaging is exactly the same. We'll go ahead and get this one opened up. Supposedly, from what I've heard, you guys like when I open things on camera. So that's another reasoning why I did, I'm doing it this way. And just very carefully, very carefully. There's just this sticky glue on the back that I don't want to damage the card in the process, or do I want to drop the card in the process? Let's pick up that card. There we go. There's the card. And let's go ahead and take Red Skull out. I've still got actually some of the finger fighters over here from the last time I had a look at them. So here's Captain America and the corresponding bad guy, Red Skull. 
I really do like these quite a bit. I hope, if anything, there's there they are again. I hope, if anything, that we may eventually see, oh, I don't know, hopefully some DC stuff. I'm a big Marvel guy, but I think I really love DC as my go-to. Uh, as for Red Skull's card, there he is right there. Like the artwork, by the way. And we flip it around. Red Skull is intelligence at five. I might have actually put him around six. Uh, strength is at three. Speed is very slow at two. Durability is at three. Energy projection is at two, or actually it looks like it's at one. And fighting skill is at a very high six. As for the finger fighter of the Red Skull, he's definitely red. He seems to have a lot more paint happening on him than, say, his former looked-at partner here, his colleague in crime, Abomination. They painted in here the pupils, as well as they painted in the iris as well, so that's pretty cool. And they've got white teeth happening there. His costume is very armored up, and uh, like I said, he's got the some paint, some nice added paint in there, the arc reactor. He, that's kind of his iron suit. And then he's got the whites on the either, either of his shoulders. About to fire off what looks to be a repulsor blast. Better watch out there, Captain America. Luckily, he's got his shield ready to go. And again, you can just fit these on your fingers. I couldn't really do the rest of the review by just simply adding these to all my fingers. Each of these appendages will eventually... Uh, well, I would need the rest of them to open up the packaging for the other two. So it probably would make not much sense to keep them on my fingers. So we'll just kind of put them down here. If, by the way, you are looking to pick these up for yourself, uh, you should be able to find them at your local comic book store. I'm just bang the camera for a second because I realized Hulk was... Hulk smash! Apparently Hulk was over, over yonder there. Um, and then just to pair him up, there he is. Hulk and Abomination. I have the other finger fighters over here, and I'm just trying to see where I put them. Okay, there's the other, yeah, there's the other two. Uh, next one, we have a look at Whiplash. Looking pretty cool. Again, the packaging is no different from one another. They're all the same. Let's go ahead and get this open up. But yeah, you, if you're looking to pick these up for yourself, you can pick them up from your local comic book store. They should be stocking these now. Take the card off very gingerly. And there's the card for Whiplash. Let's go ahead and take him out of its packaging. Obviously, this is a little bit more the cartoon version of Whiplash. And not so much the one from Iron Man 2. There's this card right there, looking pretty cool. And we flip the card around. Intelligence is at 4. Strength is at 2. Speed is at 2. Again, I would have thought his speed would have been a little bit faster. Durability is at 3. Energy projection is at 4. Fighting skills are at 3. And I just so happen to have over here Iron Man. You can pair next to fighting against... <laughs> fighting against Whiplash. Very cool. I like his long ponytail. Very bright green. It's actually about the same color as the Hulk. Yeah, about the same color as the Hulk. I, not much of a fight, I think, between Hulk and Whiplash. Hulk would smash puny Whiplash. And lastly, last but certainly not least, we want to leave the sneaky, the conniving Loki for the last. Go ahead and take his card off. Being very careful not to damage the card. There we go. And let's go ahead and take... Loki out of his packaging. We're going to be having a look at the Spider-Man and Venom in a separate review, so stay tuned for that. Just going to be picking that one up. And here is Loki's card. I love this artwork. I want to know where they're getting this artwork from. If they're drawing this themselves, if they got like an artist on hand that's doing all this artwork, fine work there, Monogram. Fine work, I like that. Let's see what Loki stacks up as. Intelligence, okay, that's five. Yeah, strength is at five. Speed is at three. Durability is at six. Energy projection, six. And fighting skills is at three. Now, obviously, to pit him against somebody, I would want to grab the mighty Thor with Mjolnir in hand and put the two side against one another. <laughs> um, I 
paint once again on all these pieces really nice painted in the pupils there and irises of Loki in green this guy's green cape with some gold and of course we can't forget Loki's got the horns which let me just say as well our plastic the whole rest of his body is a rubbery material rubbery plastic but the top is actually made of a, a denser plastic don't worry don't worry Ouch! Ooh, don't worry it's not gonna it's not gonna prick you so there you go, some pretty cool looking releases again from the folks over at Monogram International. Wanted to look at some more of the finger fighters. I know I just finished having a look at the heroes. Don't worry, the villains were, weren't that far behind. Now, if you again want to pick these up for yourself, you can find them at your local comic book store. If for so happens it be a case where the comic book store, I'm going to put these, try to put these all on my fingers here. If it so happens that you go to your local comic book store, they don't have them. A lot of times, comic book stores would be more than happy to order them in for you. And there's there's some of the finger fighters. It's got, we're having a party. Today, though, we were having a look at some more finger fighters. This was finger fighters villains. Even though Punisher, technically, he is actually over here. There we go. Punisher, just for... Just to wrap up this video, there's Punisher, who really should have been paired with Daredevil. He should have been the bad guy, but I put him with the heroes. Uh, today, though, we were having a look at some finger fighters, the, the villains finger fighters. If, again, you guys want to pick these up for yourself, you should be able to find them at your local comic book store. And uh, certainly stay tuned. We're going to have a look at some more monogram stuff. Maybe not necessarily finger fighters, but we're going to have a look at some more monogram stuff in future videos. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. This feels right, having all of these on my fingers. Uh, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. More videos will be coming your way, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.